And this was episode number eight. Episode number eight came from passage John chapter nine, verse 13 and 41. So we completed John chapter nine of last week. So these are the things that stood out to me. Is the unbelief, the unbelief in the hardened heart of the religious leader. So whenever the word of Jehovah is going out and you don't receive it and it doesn't get into your heart, you have to examine your heart because you that's a hardened heart because you're not receiving the word of Jehovah. Also in this passage, there was this interrogation that was going on to the man that was born blind and also to his family. And then, of course, the excommunicated issue uh, that we read about in this passage is also what many Hebrews uh, members, uh, family are going through when it comes to um, their, when they are trying to show people the truth, uh, people ex excommunicate them. So my cross reference and my word study is come from the word um, lawlessness. In some of your Bibles, you will read iniquity, which is anomia, which is G45A, contentment and violation of the law. Um, so that's that iniquity that we read about um, in um, the book of Matthew. And we will see it in other places too. But let's get to the reflection. Now, according to the Pharisees, Yeshua could not be a man of Elohim because he did not keep the Sabbath according to their traditions. Again, I repeat, according to the Pharisees' tradition. And we kind of talked about this last week about what is written. What is written in the word of Jehovah versus what the Pharisees were teaching according to their Talmud. Um, and other writings that they have when it comes to performing medical or medicine or some type of miracles that was going on during the Sabbath day. So you can take a, um, you can watch um, last week's teaching so you can get into that because they had a specific way of doing things. Then we have Yeshua doing the work of the kingdom, which was something against the Pharisees teaching. He was doing the work of the kingdom on the Sabbath day. He was sent by the Father to do the work of the kingdom. What's important to understand, as a soldier, as an ambassador, as a believer, the workers of the kingdom work seven days a week all year round. You can most definitely take your day off on a Sunday, but you most definitely cannot take the Sabbath day because that's the busiest day of the week. And we read about that in Numbers 28. And I recommend for you to read the entire chapter of Numbers 28. Now, the people at the time that this was going on with the, the man being born blind, some believers came out of that testimony, right? But the Jews, when we talk about the Jews in the book of John, he's really talking about um, the Pharisees, the religious leaders that did not believe. So they thought it was impossible that he, that the man was born blind and Yeshua healed him. So this is where we get this interrogation that was going on with him and his parents. And this born blind non-teacher man says some very important words to the Pharisees at that time. I want to go back to that because he said something and was, was very wise about what he has said to the Pharisees. Matter of fact, they were um, humiliated, basically embarrassed by what he said, but this is what he says. Well, here is the amazing thing that you do not know where he is from, speaking of Yeshua, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that Elohim does not listen to sinners, but if someone is um, God-fearing, Elohim-fearing, and does his will, he listens to them. Since the beginning of time, it has never been heard that anyone had opened the eyes of a person being born blind. If this man was not from Elohim, 
he could not do nothing. So this statement that he had made to the Pharisees most definitely um, caused some problems. And this is the reason why he got kicked out, because he began to believe that this, that Yeshua was from Yehovah. And that most definitely caused problems. So my application is the same. I examine whether a teacher is teaching the tradition or the written word. That's important for our journey, important for our path. Our path. I will study the whole word and not part or nor half. I will bring those words together to understand the kingdom. I will do my best to work that, walk that out. That's because the kingdom is a lifestyle. It's something that you will do every day of the week. The question is, who are you following? How did the people of that day understand the words of Yeshua? So that's important to understand.